Welcome to the Cortex, a Kendeville Public Library makerspace. This video will train you to use the Singer 9960 digital sewing machine, which requires certification to use. To use the digital sewing machine, you will need to provide your own fabric, thread, pins, bobbins, and consumable items. To start, first wind the bobbin. Start by pulling up the left end of the spool pin. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin so that the thread unrolls from the front of the spool. Next, set the correct size of spool cap on the spool pin and secure it to the top of the spool. Hold the thread and follow the printed guide on top of the machine moving from left to right. Insert your thread through the top hole in a bobbin and place the bobbin on the winder spindle. Push the bobbin to the right and engage the winder. A small snap may be heard. Turn on the machine. Hold the end of the thread and start the machine by pressing the foot pedal. You may stop winding the bobbin by releasing the foot pedal or the bobbin will stop automatically when it's full. Next, push the bobbin and spindle to the left. Remove the bobbin from the spindle and cut the thread. To place the bobbin into the bobbin holder, raise the presser foot. Press the needle up-down button and set the needle in the up position. Pop off the bobbin cover and place the bobbin in its holder with the thread unwinding counterclockwise. Draw the thread into a small notch while holding the bobbin. Pull the thread toward the left end and along the inside of the spring until it slips into a second notch, making sure that it does not slip out of the first notch. Pull about four inches of thread from the bobbin and replace the bobbin cover. To thread the machine, start with the spool pin. Pull up the left end and set the spool of thread on the pin so that the thread unrolls from the front of the spool. Next, set the correct size of spool cap on the spool pin and secure it on top of the spool. Hold the thread and follow the diagram. The diagram on the machine can be hard to read, so you may need to refer to the user manual for clarification. To thread the needle, lower the presser foot and check that the needle is raised. If it is not, raise the needle by pressing the needle up-down button. Lower the threader slowly and draw thread through the thread guide and pull it toward the right. Lower the lever as far as it will go. The threader will turn and the hook pin will go through the needle eye. Draw the thread into the guide. Make sure that you hold the thread loosely and release the lever. The hook will turn and pass through the needle eye while making a loop. Pull out the loop about four inches from the eye of the needle. To draw up the bobbin thread, raise the presser foot. Hold the thread loosely and press the needle up-down button twice from the up position. Pull the upper thread lightly so that this will bring the bobbin thread up into a loop. Pull both threads about four inches toward the back of the presser foot. Threading this machine can be tricky, so before you start, be sure to refer to pages 32 through 34 of the user manual. Utility stitches are indicated in a pattern chart inside the top cover. When the machine is turned on, the straight stitch is automatically selected. If you want to choose a different pattern, press the utility button. You can use the buttons to scroll back and forth to see additional patterns. To select a pattern, press the function button directly under the pattern you want. The LCD screen will then tell you important information, like the stitch number, the suitable presser foot, and the thread tension. So on the screen, it not only shows the user what stitch they're using, but it also shows the foot that mm -hmm. is associated. So right now we have a foot, foot okay. A on there, however you want to say it. This is the tension. And you have five function buttons, one, two, three, four, five. So if they want to change their tension, they press F5. And then minus or plus, they can increase the tension, they can decrease the tension, or they can revert back to auto by pressing F3. Now, there's a second way to revert back to auto. Instead of pressing this, they can also press C for clear. And that takes them back. Want to do something a little more decorative? Press the decorative and letter stitch button. The first five pattern groups will pop up, and you can use the buttons to scroll back and forth to see additional pattern groups. After you select the group you want, 
press the scroll buttons to find the next five patterns in that group. To select a pattern, press the function button directly under the pattern you want. The machine can memorize a maximum of 60 patterns. To begin sewing, make sure that the machine is turned on and the presser foot is in the up position. Insert your fabric and then lower the presser foot. If you are sewing letters or a decorative pattern, press the stop start button and the machine will do the work for you. If you are using a simple stitch to sew a seam or hem pants, you can use the foot pedal to stop and start sewing. The Singer 9960 user manual is a great resource for troubleshooting and more complicated patterns. Be sure to refer to it often.